Hi, Addie. Thank you for joining me for this one-on-one -on -one today. You're welcome. So tell me something that you're excited about right now. I like going on the laptops and doing one-on-one. -on -one. So what else? What other, like, what do you like specifically when you get on the laptop? I like that I can do schoolwork by myself with you. Yeah? So like, do you like the math best, the reading, the science? Math. You like math? Mm -hmm. What's your favorite mm -hmm. part of math right now? Plus. Plus, so addition. Fantastic. I love mm -hmm. it. Cool. Well, um, I wanted to talk with you about, you know, the group discussions that we do. Okay. So this is like when we get a bunch of the students together on Zoom and we're all kind of talking with one another. So it's kind of like class, but we're doing it online. Okay. So I was wondering, how is that working for you? I don't really like it. I just like one and one better. Okay, I totally get that. So what is it about the group discussions that you don't like? I'm just too nervous to talk. Oh yeah? Mm-hmm. I get nervous too. Is it because there's a lot of people? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Well, I know you can do it. Like you are such a bright girl and I know that you can do anything you want. Remember we talked about whatever we set our mind to, we can do better. So I just want to okay. encourage you to just keep trying because we need to hear your voice. What you say and think okay. is so important. Can you do okay. that for me? Uh -huh. So tell me one other thing. What other stuff are you excited about? Um, I'm excited about reading. Tell me what your reading goals are for this week. Um, I'm trying, I'm going to try to read 20 pages. 20 pages. That sounds really good. I love how much you love to read. I do love to read. Well, thank you for meeting with me. I look forward to our next one-on-one. -on -one. I do too. And remember, group discussion, what are you going to try to do? I'm going to try to speak up. I love it. You're the best, Addie. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hi, Gabrielle. Thanks for jumping on this uh, call, this one-on-one -on -one check in. How are you doing? I'm, I'm doing okay, I guess. Yeah, okay. Well, I don't know if you saw me on Saturday. I happened to be at your martial arts tournament. I did see you. That really meant a lot to me. Thank you. I was so nervous and seeing you there really made me feel better. Oh, I'm so glad and, and congratulations on your win. It was very impressive. I'm so proud of you. And Thank you. I was so stressed out about it. With that and schoolwork, it's just been a lot. Okay, well, uh, let's talk about that. Um, what's, what's troubling you with schoolwork? There's just been a lot of work and I'm just kind of feeling overwhelmed and I just, I don't know how to get all of this done in a matter of time. That's good for school, I guess. I don't know. I feel like I'm just not as smart as everyone sometimes. I just can't get the work done. Yeah, time management could be a real challenge. I know it can be overwhelming. And so, I mean, is this perhaps why you're having, you're struggling with the group project? <sighs> the group project is just, I don't really get along with the people in my group. And like, they're all friends and I'm not one of their friends. So it's just, I feel left out and it doesn't really make me want to participate. You're clearly, clearly a very smart and talented student. I think you have a lot to offer. Well, maybe by participating, they would see that you're really invested, you know, in, in the success of the group. I'm trying to do my work the best that I can, but we just have learning different styles. And so then I don't know what to do when I'm sitting in the group. Okay, yeah. Yeah, people do learn at different paces. So um, I think it's mostly believing in yourself, being confident in your abilities, and, you know, people are going to be at these different levels. That's just the fact of life. And I think you just, you just do your best. And that's all you can, you know, really do. It's so easy for us to compare ourselves to other people. And I think that can be a trap sometimes. Yeah, it's, it's just been hard. Specific to the group project, because I think this is an exciting project. And I think it could really be good for you and good for your bonding with the other students. Because I know you're a member of the theater and speech club, and I've seen you do public speaking. You're very good. You're very confident on stage, very good speaker. And with the group project, as you know, next week, they're scheduled to meet, to meet in front of the town planning committee. And I think that you would contribute a lot to the team if you could help them with the speech that needs to be given in front of the committee. Do you think they'd let me? I think 
Yes, I think that they've seen what I've seen, which is your incredible ability to speak in front of people. You clearly have talent in that area. And I think they would be very lucky and consider themselves lucky if you would help them prepare that speech and maybe even consider delivering the speech because I, I think you're a born public speaker. Well, I'm a little bit nervous, but I, I think I can do that. Yeah, I think you can too. And, you know, don't worry about nerves. You know what nerves mean is that you care about something. That's why we get nervous is because we care so much about something and we want to do a good job. Yeah, because so, I do care so much about my schoolwork and I care so much about, you know, doing well. And I do want to participate in the group. I just, it's been hard for me, but I do, you know, want everyone to succeed. I have complete confidence in you. I've seen what you can do. And I hope you come to see what I see, which is, you know, a successful young woman. Oh, thank you. That really does mean a lot to me. Well, is there anything else I can help with at this point? I mean, I guess I just, I don't know how to, how do I communicate that to my group without them getting annoyed with me? Because it's just kind of hard because they're already not super pleased with me. So should I just tell them that I really want to contribute or that I think I have a good idea? It's easy to shut yourself down because of self-doubt. And then we just sort of dig ourselves deeper into that hole. And I think the more that you can try to put yourself out there, take that risk, no risk, no reward, as they say, that the better it'll, and the easier it'll get. Okay, thank you. Thanks, I look forward to our next check-in in a couple of days, so. Yeah, thank you. Keep me posted, okay? I will, thank you so much. All right, I'll see you then. Bye. Bye.